Hi, this is Henry Ennis, CEO of GoChain. I uh, hope everyone is doing well, is safe, and enjoying the holiday season. Uh, as the year winds down, I wanted to take this opportunity to reflect and look back on 2020. Whereas 2019 was uh, a year of transition, um, 2020 has been a year of solid growth. Um, and I think an opportunity to showcase the resiliency and resourcefulness uh, of the team during what has been a very, a uh, very difficult year uh, for everybody. Um, thematically, I would like to highlight two things about uh, this year. One is that from a network standpoint, um, I think the team has done a great job to uh, enhance the, the protocol and also to grow the ecosystem. And also, uh, it's been a great year to showcase um, the how GoChain is driving real-world use adoption um, of uh, blockchain, and specifically uh, enterprise solutions on the GoChain protocol. Um, from a network standpoint, um, we've done a lot, I think, to enhance the reputation. So this year we added um, Conservation International, uh, University of Nicosia, the Global Roundtable for Sustainable Beef, and of course, uh, Penn State University. So four really excellent, highly reputable institutions that are going to do a lot uh, for the ecosystem. And in terms of governance, uh, we've taken good steps to really start to improve the governance. Um, and it, one, of course, we announced the addition of uh, the implementation of the steering committee. And uh, most recently, we've also um, uh, commenced with the community, uh, community voting process with two proposals passing. Uh, we also implemented the mygochain.io uh, uh, functionality within the platform. So this is another uh, great mechanism that's going to enable the community to better interface and engage with the ecosystem. And uh, we also launched the uh, Global Acceleration Program for Sustainability. And uh, it's a great program uh, designed to really support uh, small-scale harvesters and producers globally to be able to uh, utilize our turnkey supply chain uh, solutions, which I'll touch upon further. And uh, we've also had some really uh, uh, notable innovations built on the protocol. Uh, of course, uh, with ChainSwap and GoSwap, now uh, the combined solutions, uh, you can uh, any, any Ethereum token can be really traded at a fraction of a cost. These are really great innovations. And of course, uh, we launched GoTrace, which I'll touch upon uh, uh, on the enterprise side. So uh, as mentioned on the enterprise side, I think this has been a really meaningful year to uh, showcase how we're driving real world adoption and how enterprises are using the protocol. And this is in large part because of the launch of uh, GoTrace. So in addition to our customized solutions, we launched GoTrace uh, in June of this year. And this is our out of the box turnkey SaaS uh, blockchain based uh, track and trace chain of custody system. And uh, in addition to running on the protocol and, and, and having uh, really innovative features uh, to have granular uh, traceability, uh, we've also integrated unique tagging solutions. And notably, I'd like to highlight um, the work we're doing with Shape Matrix, uh, which is a really innovative company out of New York. They have a uh, AI-fueled uh, 2D, 3D shape tags. These are geometric shape tags. Um, uh, that, along with our uh, other tagging partners, GenTag and Two Hands, uh, we really can now do uh, track and trace for all sorts of products, um, from commodities all the way to high value goods. And this is all uh, integrated with the GoTrace system. We also uh, began uh, supporting various standards, and I would say this year, particularly around the seafood space. So uh, GDST, so the Global Dialogue on Seafood Traceability, um, the Global Aquaculture Alliance with, with their, uh, sort of their standards as well, um, MSC. And some others. So basically, we we really begun uh, to do a lot of work in the the seafood uh, sector, and then looking ahead to twenty twenty one, we'll be also supporting various other uh, industries as well, um, and we'll make appropriate announcements when when those uh, when that time comes. And um, we've also uh, had various um, announced various partnerships and collaborations, uh, very meaningful for the ecosystem. Um, of course, we touched upon the Shape Matrix and GenTag. Um, on the sustainability side, uh, we're uh, proud members uh, this year for joining the Catapult Collaborative with Conservation International, um, being Dialogue Advisory Group members uh, as part of GDST with the WWF. And, and also we partner with Infinite Sum as a really great uh, powerhouse when it comes to management consulting, uh, particularly for supply chain solutions globally, uh, working very closely with them. And uh, most recently, we also announced um, our collaborations with uh, ProNatura in Mexico and also with Lexia, really innovative uh, law firm in Colombia, uh, and we'll be uh, basically kicking off with a uh, very 
uh, innovative crypto lab um, out of Bogota uh, in Q1 of 2021. So really exciting work we're, we're really starting to do down in Latin America. And uh, again, we've really, uh, this year, showcased real world adoption of GoChain protocol um, with uh, various public announcements that we've done, um, notably uh, two hands with the track and trace of live lobsters um, from Australia to China. Also uh, with Coca Veda, with their 100 plus uh, different uh, or organic and halal certified products. And then of course, a uh, recent announcement with Pornatura in terms of some of the pilots that we'll be doing in Mexico supporting uh, various uh, fishery improvement projects. Um, and, and finally, this month, uh, as, as you all have hopefully seen, um, we announced uh, the results of a uh, multi-stage pilot that we've done with Inviva. Very exciting work. We're very proud of that work. And uh, it's really an opportunity to work with the uh, global bioenergy leader, in fact, the, the world's largest producer of industrial wood pellets. These are uh, renewable and a coal alternative. And um, this uh, announcement, uh, we've seen tremendous uh, 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 coverage of it. In fact, uh, I think as of today, more than 125 different uh, media outlets and publications have um, uh, shared information related to this release. And so a uh, really great way for us to end the year um, to showcase the kind of work we're doing on the enterprise side, uh, particularly in the areas of sustainability and uh, uh, transparent supply chains. So uh, a lot uh, has been accomplished uh, by the team and they're very, very proud of them for their work. Uh, looking ahead to 2021, we're, we're going to continue to advance uh, these various initiatives that we've begun this year. Um, we'll continue to drive uh, enterprise adoption. Um, you'll see an uptick and additional announcements for works that we're doing in various pilots and supporting various customers. And uh, on the protocol side, we're going to continue to drive innovation, use of the protocol. Uh, there'll be more governance measures. And, and again, we'll continue to work to onboard um, new notes uh, to drive the reputation. So that's it. Um, I wanted to uh, thank all of you uh, for your continued support. Um, we really appreciate it. It's been a very difficult year. And um, you know, despite it all, uh, the team has done a great job. So we'll look forward to uh, more success in 2021 and uh, wish everybody a happy new year.